Peter Felicetti, and I'm director of Felicetti Consulting Engineers. We're uh, specialists in architectural engineering and uh, design everything from houses to multi-storey buildings and uh, film production projects and ent um, event and en um, entertainment. A lot of people are recognising the economic benefits of sustainability beyond just adopting um, a, gr um, a green approach to things. It's actually now paying dividends to clients and developers. I saw it as an opportunity to actually be part of something that um, encompassed a lot of positive ide ideals in terms of construction and uh, working methodologies. I like the fact that it was um, about a project being realised in, in collaboration. There are similar projects in terms of taking a holistic approach to design. I've been involved in projects with um, Monash University and um, also in Tasmania where students um, have um, created projects in a collaborative sense. In, um, they call it a, a make it um, course. So, but in terms of uh, a holistic approach where a whole bunch of consultants are getting involved, this, this is quite unique in terms of this scale of uh, project. What I can bring to the project is experience um, and uh, probably a more novel approach to design and um, engineering. As well as being an engineer, I'm also an architect. I've got um, qualifications in architecture. And one thing that I've recognised about engineering is that um, there's too much of focus on calculations as opposed to um, respecting the other um, team members. And so what I'm actually bringing is, is less rather than more, allowing the other team members to actually uh, process a design in an efficient manner. We've developed a software package called Spanman where we've automated the design process which allows a designer to very quickly make comparisons between different um, building products and therefore from a sustainability point of view one there's benefits in terms of a, a design process uh, because it's, it cuts down the design time enormously and secondly uh, comparisons can be made very simple and again with the documentation process of the project rather than us actually doing all the drawings um, the architect is able to streamline the documentation of the building in into one co um, coherent set of drawings that um, then um, doesn't create ambiguity and confusion, which is traditionally what happens. I think the, the real challenge is, try, uh, is efficiency again. I mean, it's a small project, but how can we use the materials in an efficient manner and work with the, the other team members to coordinate the different aspects of our um, professional um, advice? So, for example, do we adopt the smallest member for each element, smallest, or do we just say we're going to um, adopt one section size, one timber section size throughout the project because it may be cheaper and more efficient. And um, so that's something that I think that needs to be um, work through. I think the thing is it's just uh, good communication between team members and not l allowing one particular discipline to dominate the discussion. Uh, too often I think what can happen is that um, an architect or a designer will um, create a design and then feel that um, they've completed their task and not allow an engagement from engineers or other disciplines which in turn may require an assess a reassessment of their initial strategies. This project's got quite a good team in, in that sense that 
we've been able to establish a, a very good dialogue and recognise the importance of integrating uh, different um, strategies and ideas. What's the be best outcome? That um, everyone remains uh, um, amicable and, and friendly, and, and at, uh, which is a, a real proof of a, a good project that um, the collaboration remains intact and um, so and we get to enjoy the outcomes of the project especially for the client if the client's happy and uh, all the team members are happy well I think that's uh, an excellent outcome it's proof that the process is actually working and um, especially if we can create a, a very efficient building in terms of cost and energy use and material use.